today with fresh concerns in Afghanistan. It's now been nearly two months since the U.S. military mission in the country came to that chaotic end, characterized by raucous crowds trying to force themselves past security checkpoints onto those final planes out of Afghanistan, culminating in a deadly suicide blast that killed more than a dozen American troops. Now with the Taliban firmly in control, we're hearing new reports of hundreds of Americans still stranded in Afghanistan trying to find a way out. News Nation correspondent Kelly Meyer pressed leaders at the Pentagon on those reports today. She joins us live now from D.C. So, Kelly, what did you learn? Hey, Nicole, it's been nine weeks since the chaotic departure of American forces from Afghanistan, and now we have the most specific accounting yet of how many Americans were left behind and still want out. There are as many as 300 U.S. citizens and nearly 200 of them actively wanting to return to the U.S. Today, the Pentagon holding firm. Pentagon spokesperson John Kirby told me repeatedly in the briefing today that there is not an active military role there any longer, and he tells me he doesn't see that changing. He says the Pentagon is working closely with the State Department to get the remaining Americans out of the region. He didn't give an exact number of how many Americans are left there, but again, Kirby says the U.S. will ensure that those that want to leave will get out safely. Just lastly, would the plan be changing at all from here just with the concerns from foreign ministers of Afghanistan nearing a collapse? So is there any change to any planning or are you preparing for like? I'm not sure if I follow your question. Is the Pentagon working to get both the relatives and the other Americans that still remain out if there's this concern about a collapse of Afghanistan? We are aware of concerns uh, that uh, uh, some of our members have about their family members. Absolutely. Um, and we are certainly aware that there are still American citizens uh, in Afghanistan, uh, some of whom, not all, but some of whom want to leave. So we are st still very committed uh, to working inside the, the U.S. government interagency effort uh, to uh, find safe passage for these individuals to the best of our ability. But, uh, but I, I don't, th there's not at this time envisioned any U.S. military role specifically in bringing that about. And all this comes as some world leaders are warning that Afghanistan is teetering on the edge of crisis. Today, the United Nations warned that more than half of the country's population will face acute food insecurity by next month if something isn't done to deliver aid. Nicole? Yeah, Kelly Meyer pressing those Pentagon leaders today. Thank you for that.